Hello and a very warm welcome to Thailand. We're in the land of smiles as we kick off the new look HSBC BWF World Tour for 2018. And for badminton fans, the new year starts right here in Bangkok for the first of 27 global events we'll be bringing you throughout the year. Sit back, enjoy. We're ready and raring to go when we are in the Limavatur Stadium. It's part of the National Stadium complex here and room for nearly 6,000 spectators inside. There's $12 million worth of total prize money up for grabs this season in various different levels of events. The Super 300, the Super 500, 750, 1,000 and the final, which is in Guangzhou in December. And basically, the bigger the number, the more ranking points are on offer and the bigger the prize money. So those Super 1,000, three events, they are the biggest on tour, along, of course, with the final in China. Here's just a little taste of where we're going to be for the next few months. We kick off here in Bangkok, then we go to Malaysia next week, stay in the Far East for Indonesia, then India, and then the European Tour begins in Switzerland, goes to Germany, that's near Dusseldorf, and then the All England Open, one of the biggest events of the year. Then we're down under in New Zealand and Australia. The US Open is in mid-June, followed by more Far East action in Malaysia and Indonesia. And that's just the first six months of the season. My name is Trevor Harris, alongside me is Steen Pedersen, and here's our order of play for the day, Steen. We're kicking off with a, a mixed doubles match, and the crowd will get behind the ties, no doubt, against the Malaysian pair. Yeah, the Malaysians, um, the Olympic silver medalist of uh, Rio 2016, playing uh, their first tournament in a long while uh, due to the injury of uh, the female player, Go Liu Ying. Very interesting to see that match. And that is followed by, we'll talk about teenage kicks. We've got a 19-year-old against an 18-year-old. It's going to be a big day for one of those two young guys. A look into the future, perhaps, of uh, men's singles, badminton. And followed by, we're going to see the number one seed in the women's singles from Thailand. A real crowd favourite, Jin Dupon. Um, and after that, still three more matches, six to bring you today, featuring the defending champion, uh, Tommy Shigurato from Indonesia. Um, and where's the first men's singles? Was the youngsters? These are the more experienced guys. They met for the first time ten years ago, so uh, interesting to see uh, that match as well. Another Malaysian Thai battle in the women's doubles, and the last match we're going to bring you is a men's doubles match featuring the number three seeds, uh, Govi Shem and Tan Wei Kiong of Malaysia. They're taking on another Thai pair, so. We've got just about everything for everyone today. We've got some veterans, some youngsters, mixed doubles, women's doubles, men's doubles and singles. That's how the draw has panned out in the mixed. And as you can see, seeds have fallen by the wayside. That bottom match you can see in the two semis is the one that we are featuring live this afternoon, featuring the number five seeds. And probably now, they're, you'd say they're favourites to win it tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, it, it, they look uh, pretty strong, but... Um we still have to see when they when they meet tough opposition uh, how they're going to fare. Well, that will be our first match on court. We've had the the dancers, we've got the flashing lights, we've got the music. All we need now are four players, and they will be appearing very shortly. Rapidly gaining a, a sporting culture, Thailand. In fact, they've had the Asian Games four times, and this arena has been used for all four. Malaysian pair coming in. I don't think they're going to have the majority of the support this afternoon against the two ties, but I don't think that'll bother them too much. Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying, both in their late 20s. Made the final at the uh, All England Open last year. And you mentioned that injury that uh, Go Liu Ying had. Shoulder surgery in Germany a year ago, so it's good to see her back and, and, and back in the action of firing again. Yeah. Well, you'll know from the applause that the two Thai players are in the arena. Nipit Pon Huang Trapet 
and Goldan Hibitakarun will be the outsiders here. Both know their way around a badminton court though. Kitty Hakarun won the women's team and women's doubles gold at the Southeast Asian Games in Kuala Lumpur last year. I was actually walking across the practice court while they were warming up, doing some reaction exercises with uh, a tennis ball. They're really enjoying themselves. Service uh, service judge being introduced. First meeting, as you can see, so we've got no form to go on in terms of the head to head. Okay, John Corpan, red or black? Black, okay. Black. You stay there, okay? You serve, go serve. You receive, okay. So you probably heard that, so Go Liu Ying is going to serve first with the Taipei having won the toss and chosen ends. Probably not too late to wish you a happy new year, Steen, and, and maybe ask you what you're really looking forward to on this world tour in 2018. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to see how everything's going to pan out with the new uh, Super 1000 tournaments. Uh, and I really like the idea that all the tournaments are, are on, so more or less under the same roof with the HSBC BWF World Tour um, covering the Super 1000, 750, um, 500, 300. That, that's going to be really, really interesting. And also to see how the players are going to cope with the uh, increased number of tournaments. Yeah, well, I mentioned bringing you 27 global events. We're looking at Go Yu Ying. I mentioned she's 28. Highest ranking of three previously. I said she had shoulder surgery in Germany last year. She had knee surgery back in 2014. Tough sport this badminton at times. But she looks fully recovered. Let's hope she can have an injury-free season. Ready to play. Incidentally, 7,000 points. We mentioned uh, the rankings. It all leads towards the road to uh, Grand Joe in December. 7,000 points for the winners. And around about 11,000 US dollars in prize money as well. There's their route through to this final. Has been as high as 25 in the mixed doubles rankings. Duen Pipet. 26 now. Oi. Getting some um, cool spray on. Uh, large strapping on his back there. Yeah, it doesn't look like you want to aggra aggravate that. That was an awful lot of plaster on his back. There's there. A route to the final taken to three games in the first round but relatively straightforward after that less than an hour for their second round and quarterfinals combined having taken exactly 60 minutes to dispose of the number eight seeds a couple of days ago I do two. Please. Please do not in the chair Please do not use flash while taking photos. Thank you. Service judge from Thailand, and we are just about set for action with Go Liu Ying. Ladies Sir, and gentlemen, on my right, Nipitpong Puang Puapet, John Korpan Kitty Tarakul, Thailand. And on my left, Chan Pen Sung, Gold Yo Ying, Malaysia. Gold Yo Ying to serve to John Kolpa 
Kitty Tarakul, Lovell, play. A sporting round of applause for the Malaysians from the Marshley Thai crowd. One love. Service over. Two love. They're trying their very best for <laughs> the home crowd to get the tie player going. So far it's not love. working. Couple of errors. <laughs> and it's working really well from the back of the court. Chang Pen soon. Four. Yeah, of course, um, given uh, the history of uh, Chan and Go winning that uh, Olympic silver medal, um, we have to consider them as uh, quite huge favourites here. Five, um, love. We saw in the uh, road to the semi final that they'd won all their matches in straight games, so it seems like they have a decent level already since Go Liu Ying uh, came back from injury. Just completely controlling the back of the court at the moment. Six, love. And with Go Liu Ying looking pretty sharp at the front, that was well in. Excellent. And my in my Seven. opinion, one of the absolute Love. best uh, female uh, front court players in mixed doubles, uh, Go Liu Ying. Folks, service over. So, so good at um, taking one the right chances, seven. intercepting at the net. And of course, she makes a couple of mistakes once in a while, like we saw here. But um, you have to be allowed to do that as the. Uh, female player in mixed doubles otherwise you become too um, ordinary so well, you think they'd won a game from the <laughs> reception they got for winning the first point but normal Eight service has been one. resumed so to speak they just can't really stem the tide the tie pair 8-1 service over and she pounced on that very impressively if you have a good two Hey. Oi. A little misunderstanding there. Three. Between, uh, Chan and Go. Eight. Well, the mini revival could be on here. Put it back to 8 3 now. And it's got the crowd going too. Uh, well played by uh, Kitty Haruko. Four, eight. Service over. From four. New Year. Service over. They were actually the first Malaysian mixed doubles pair to qualify Five. for the Olympics when they Nine. qualified for London back in 2012. They lost all three matches, but clearly learned a lot from it. Came back superbly four years later in Rio. Service over. Jump smash really working well. Five. 
ขอเสียงปรบมือต้อนรับคณะกรรมการพุทธศิลป์เข้าสู่สนามที่สองค่ะSo 11-6 it is after just five minutes of play. Not sure what the Thai coaches can really say to their pairing, Steve, in terms of trying to somehow negate the brilliance of Chan Peng Soon from the back of the court and Go Liu Ying from the front of it. Yeah, I think um, it's important here when you start the match and you haven't played your uh, opponents one, before seconds. Um, and, one, and this is actually a really seconds. really important coaching where you can adjust you can see uh, Sarah Lee Tung Tung Tam former uh, Thai mixed up with players while coaching uh, Kitty Harakun um, working really really hard the two uh, Thai coaches now they have a better feel for 11, what six. the Malaysians are Play. throwing at them so to speak oh. service over it was a big miss surprising error which has been so solid Seven, in front of the court there 11. let's give the tire pairing a bit of hope if he had a good to serve Yeah, well played. Service over. And and one of the things that I'm pretty certain of is that if the Malaysians 12, are playing like seven. this rally, where they play from above the tape uh, throughout the rally, it's going to be really, really difficult for Huang Pua Pet and Kitty Harakun to, to win this match. They've got to get the initiative. Yeah, well played. Another example of it. 13, 7. Sometimes it feels a pretty big court, even in doubles. Perfect placement. 13, 7. Service over. And finally, Kieran Kupepet gets Eight, the better of one of those rallies. 13. Subtlety and power in equal measure. Finished off with a relatively Sam easy kill by Go Liu Ying. Plenty to admire before that. Really good angles, moving their opponents around the court. It's gone long. Service over. That was good judgment because that wasn't very far Nine, behind the baseline. 14. Oi. Came, came off the top of the tape. Hand of the apology. 15, nine. Always wonder. I mean, you're a former player and national coach and when you apologize do you really mean it or not no no you <laughs> you're laughing inside saying yes <laughs> not a good point service error service over 10 15 yeah, he's been known to struggle with his uh, low serve uh, Chan Peng Sung
Service over. It just seems like every time they are given a little bit of hope, it's snuffed 16, out almost immediately. 10. I don't think they've been closer than four points behind it at any stage, and now that gap is six. Well played. Service over. 11, 16. Fault. Service over. Well, they could do 17, without giving away cheap points like 11. that. 11. Yeah, I think actually it came off the top of the tape again and um, thus became really hot to uh, return. Service Another over. service error. Eagle eyes, I didn't see that. It's 17-12 now, so within 17. four points of taking this first game. Service over. Peng Soon doesn't get you. Go Liu Ying will. Thank you. Eighteen twelve. Monotonous, isn't it? <laughs> or it must feel like 19, it from, from the ties point of view. Twelve. Just hardly ever seems to miss with that oh. overhead. They can't. They can't get it past um, Go Liu Ying, and when they get it past, then uh, Chan plays really patient. Service over. Um, they've got a good feeling now. The Malaysians. They uh, thirteen. Almost certain 19. they're going to win this first game here, and I think they they feel good about the match as well. So it's up to Pankwa Pet and Kitty Holakul to come up with something. Oh. Ah. Great rally. That's brought the house down. Seven shots. It was about the first time we've seen the two Malaysians at the back of the court at the same time. Chan. Yeah, I think perhaps the longest rally of um, the match so far. But that—that's what they got to do more. They got to get on the attack. 14, 19. The two home favourites. Play. Well, complete misjudgment. 15, and all 19. of a sudden, there be a few nerves in the uh, Malaysian camp here. Let's oh. A stray shuttlecock from the uh, neighbouring court. 15, 19. Over. Pity. From the Thai pair's point of view, they've worked so hard. 20. But now game points. they're down five game 15. points. Better serve this time. Game. So with a, a minimum of fuss, really. First game. To Chen Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying. Chen Peng Soon, Go Liu Ying, 21-15. I guess 
a respectable score line because at one stage, certainly in the early moments of that game, it looked like it could be very one-sided. It uh, took just under a quarter of an hour in total. And plenty of work to do for Len Pet and uh, Kiki Hakarun. One twenty seconds. Cock one twenty seconds. <laughs> yeah, we saw in um, the later part of the first game that uh, Pong Pet and uh, Kititara couldn't they uh, second game started flicking. Uh, Goliu Ying a bit more in the services and uh, I think that's part of the uh, solution to getting back into this game uh, because she's so good on the front court so if you have a chance see if you can place her on the back court and uh, get on the attack yourself well, let's see if they adopt that tactic in this second game One long. Just a moment of uncertainty whether that uh, was it or not, but it was. Yeah. Of course, if they disagreed in the, with the uh, linesman call, they always had the chance of a challenge. Service fall oh. called, too high, service over. Service fault there. One, the waist. two. Well, that's going to sow a few seeds of doubt, maybe, in uh, Go Yu Ying's mind. It gets a tie pair on the board in the second game. It's way long. Sounds over. Three, one. Yes, great Fantastic. play. Fantastic. Watch the way the, the ties were moved around the court. Both ended Thank up you. on the deck in the end in that rally. Okay, quick. And they're trying, and uh, the woman in the picture here, Kitty Harakun, she's trying to uh, challenge Go Liu Ying on the front court, but. Um, Four, I just think Golu Ying, the more skillful play. of the two, reads the game faster. Um, 
So it's hard for Kitsy Harkle to get the upper hand. Again, this battle for the attack and Five, the Malaysians come out one. on top eventually. Well, no question who has the net supremacy. And with the way that Chang Peng Soon has been playing from the back of the court, that's why they're a game up now 5 1 already in the second game. Playing for a place, remembering tomorrow's final. Fault. Six. One. Oh, total miss hit there. Seven, one. Yeah, that was nearly on the neighbouring court. If you can see the funny side of it. Good judgment by Champing Sun. Had very little Eight, time to decide whether one. he was going to leave that. Service over. From the Malaysian pair's point of view, if they can finish this match in double quick time, it obviously gives Two, them more eight. rest and recuperation ahead of tomorrow's final. Clear over. call from the back of the court from Chen Ping Soon. Nine, two. It's gloriously athletic to watch when he gets airborne. Yeah, really, really good um, agility. <laughs> and again. been a bit more lopsided than I originally expected but I think um, that big strapping that we saw on uh, Niti Pong 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 backside just before the start of the match uh, I think Three, must affect it. Ten. Yeah it was a, it's a huge dressing. We had the chance to dominate. Four, ten. But it's also when you look at them, when you, when you look at the two tie players, they, they don't, their body language doesn't um, look like they're going to come back in this match. Well, they won't. Service over. 11 4. They'll play like that. So 11 4. Imagine there's that much for a Malaysian coach there to really say. Keep doing what you're doing, I guess. Yeah, it, it could be something about um, old agreements that um, they just reiterate. That's at the picture. Go to one. See 20 seconds. Coach has already left. Go to one. 20 seconds. Confident. Eleven four. So if it's going to be a fight back, it has to start happening now. Play. Service over. That might help the confidence a little bit. Five, eleven. 
Frustrated he couldn't get that back, but it was awkward. It was into his body. Service over. 12, 5. Just haven't been able to stem the tide, really, the ties, not consistently anyway. And that was a shot born of frustration, really. 13, yeah. 5. They're at a point now where it's not fun being on court anymore. Bolt, service over. Six, 13. Well, six points in this uh, second game for the ties, and two of them have been service errors. by Champagne Son. That smash placement up. 14. Onto the uh, right shoulder. Really, really hard to defend. Here it comes. Yeah. Couldn't get a record to that one. So moving Kijarakul inexorably to what looks like a place in the final. Service over. Seven, fourteen. Hope Springs Eternal. They get a run of three or four points together. Yeah, and th there's a good chance of that, in my opinion, because I think the Malaysians are quite comfortable. They won the first game easily, and they've got the match under control, so uh, maybe they're not 100% um, focused here, th so the ties could get some consolation points. 15, 9, 8, sorry. Once again, just a demon at the front of the net there. 16, eight. So great to, to have her back. Go Liu Ying in the mixed doubles. surgeries, winning Olympic silver medals, then going through a shoulder operation. And now she's here again, hopefully it will last a long, long time. Well, he's human. He's Sam missed one of those from the back of the court. Nine, seventy. Shouldn't prove too costly, you wouldn't imagine. Just uh, four points away now from a place in the final. But it's never over till it's over. Just a 10, hint of complacency. 17. Yeah. Oi. Yeah, they knew the outcome of that while well, the shot <laughs> was in the air, didn't they? She wasn't going to miss from there. 11, 
He's very focused. Pretty Hennigan. And it can be tricky when they come down totally uh, straight from the uh, top of the hole. Please do not use flash while taking picture. Please do not use flash while taking picture. Thank you. Well, like it was in the first game. As soon as they get a little bit of hope, a little bit of encouragement. Uh, whisked away from them in the blink of an eye. time to make his mind up there didn't he if he was going to leave that or not champagne soon Well, it was a bloodless victory, really, in the end, in, what, barely half an hour. 21-15, 21-12. So we're going to see the Malaysians in tomorrow's final. I reckon they've learned a little bit, though, the type air for that workout. Good to see played in a very friendly spirit. That's the final point. So just uh, 32 minutes it took in total. 21-15, 21-11. We'll be back very shortly with an all-teenage men's singles battle.